Welcome to Tales from the Flipside. This is our Pro Respect 10 list. Use our code FLIPSIDE for our two week subscription on the Key Collector app. Let's go ahead and start our list at number 10. At number 10, we have Nubians 85. One of the first, if not the first, of Liefeld and McFarlane together on a cover. Um, no matter what you think about them, they are two iconic people in the comic industry. And I feel like their early work is going to do nothing but go up. Uh, right now, you can get a raw from anywhere from 5 to $10. There is a direct and a newsstand version of this. The newsstand version is not an easy find. Um, you have to remember that the new mutants at this time were floundering, uh, to put it mildly. Um, it was not doing good, so nobody was buying a ton of them, uh, which makes this book even harder to find. I like it. Over time, I think it will do well. At number nine, we have Flashpoint, Batman Night of Vengeance number one. So there's only 3,500 or so copies of the second print. This is the first Thomas Wayne Batman solo series. This book has always commanded a premium due to the Azarello story, which to me and others, it's a modern classic. The Flash movie started shooting this week and it's based on the Flashpoint uh, miniseries. Michael Keaton may not be playing the Thomas Wayne Batman, but maybe another actor is. But movie appearances are not the Thomas Wayne Batman is firmly established as part of the DC Omniverse. And I think this book's gonna to continue to be pro to be prized. There's no CGC graded copies, the first or second print uh, that I could tell on the census. It could, but still it goes for less than $50 raw. And can I, I still find it every now and then in the wild despite the print run. For our number eight book, we have Hawkeye number 10, volume four from 2013. This is Number 10 in that legendary fraction run started in 2012. This is a 2013 book. Uh, this is the first full appearance of Kazi the Clown, uh, who we've gotten casting news on him. Obviously, the new Disney Plus Hawkeye show is, is filming as we speak. Um, his first appearance, I believe, was in number eight, just a, just a tiny little cameo at the end. Uh, this is his face on the cover of this one, first full appearance, uh, origin. I like this book because I think we're really seeing now with Disney Plus shows how much time and how much backstory they're giving the villains. That's kind of been one of the downfalls of Marvel MCU spec in the past is the villains are kind of flat. There's a few exceptions, obviously, but uh, but we're really seeing with WandaVision, with uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we're seeing really rounded, well-cast, well-written villains and here's our villain for the next uh, big show coming up with Hawkeye, Kate Bishop. There's very few of these on the census yet. Nobody's really cared about this until recently. There is a 1 in 20 of this that does not have, uh, it's an unrelated cover, I think, Iron Man, but also probably pretty rare. Um, I think these can still be picked up in back issue bins. Most people have been grabbing those the big keys uh, with Kate Bishop on them so mm -hmm. far. So I, I think this is a good opportunity. At number seven, we have Daredevil number 610, second print from 2019. This book in the guts and on the cover will, consists of the first full appearance and first cover appearance of Vigil. It's in a big time law right now. I saw some recent sales, $30 shipped, high grade, way down from the 100, 100 plus it was around last summer, around last year, this time into last summer. When I checked the census, there was 95 CGC 98s. Um, I checked the sales, the 90 day average was about $125, 1496s on the census, and those were selling for about 90. I think it's a great time to buy this book due to the fact, if you can find it, so to speak, due to the fact that according to Comicron, there's 624 ordered by retailers, but I typically go for a bottom line of 3,000 in circulation. I don't really know the number. I usually just figure if it's under 3,000, I stick with the 3,000 due to the fact that Marvel, you know, they go to late printings if 3,000 are ordered by retailers. But this book is in a big time law from last summer. I think this is an awesome storyline for Daredevil and Matt Murdock for script and screenplay writing since the vigil was actually manifested in Matt Murdock's mind. 
It's an awesome cover. It's very hard to find. It's practically a ghost if you can find it. For our number six book, we have New Avengers number seven, the Neil Adams Fair. It's currently around a $30 book, and it's the first appearance of Illuminati. They kind of respond to a prison break uh, coming from the raft that was mentioned in the last Falcon and Winter Soldier episode in uh, episode five. I think this is a really good buy low candidate. Um, you basically have the X-Men, Namor, Fantastic Four, and the Inhumans all in one shot. Uh, this book was um, rumored and in the news last year that this team is going to form. Um, I think it's great spec. Um, this this team also forms again later on in another series to fight the scrolls and secret invasion. So um, really good buy low candidate at thirty dollars with an upside of a hundred dollars at the ceiling. And at our number five book, we have Captain America number one, the second print. This is where Steve Rogers reveals he's an agent of Hydra, and so and this is the only cover for this issue where he says hail Hydra. When this book first came out, it was a very, very controversial key. With uh, Madame Hydra coming in to play in Episode 5 of Falcon Winter Soldier, people are thinking that, hey, maybe we get this, the, this Captain Hydra story with John Walker, with Madame Hydra trying to recruit John Walker right now. John Walker kept saying he's, keeps saying he's Captain America. Um, I think he's going to say, I'm Captain Hydra. So... I like this book, and it's got it's got the cover uh, with Captain America, Sharon Carter, Bucky, Falcon. I think it's it's a no, it's a no brainer for the second print book. Currently at five bucks. For our number four book, we have Champions Number One, the hip hop variant. Yeah, so this is the first team appearance of the champions. Um, it's a overlooked qualifier variant. Um, the print run is undetermined. Um, uh, with cover A and the rest of the variants catching fire, this book appears to be a sleeper. Last time I checked, only 10 nine eights and a total of 14 on the census, on the CGC census. This book is a no-brainer. Black cover makes it extremely difficult to find in high grade. Great investment long term. It features two main leading characters, Miles Morales and Kamala Khan, both featuring in future films. Uh, Raws can go anywhere between twenty to twenty-four dollars. Last time I checked on eBay, there were there were only a few listings. Wu Tang, nothing to mess with. <laughs> That's right. At number three, we have Department of Truth. Number two. Okay, so this is the first appearance of Starface Man, and um, eight issues in, and the comic book community continues to rave about this conspiracy theory thriller. With the high price tag of the controversial 1 in 25 variant of Starface Man eating a baby, investors will soon gravitate towards this issue, cover A, where Starface Man makes his first appearance. I say buy them when they're low, with unpredictable market, you never know when these books are going to spike. Great opportunity to position yourself, plenty of room to grow. Raw, raw copies are priced anywhere between ten to fourteen dollars, and you can find them in the back issue bins. Also, keep a lookout for the second and third print. And our number two book, we have Daredevil number one ninety seven. Yeah, this was uh, I was surprisingly uh, voted pretty high uh, among my peers. I love this book. Um, in the guts and on the cover is your first time you see Yeriko Oyama. AKA Lady Death Strike. She becomes Lady Death Strike in Alpha Flight 33. There's also a newsstand, Canadian price variant, and a Mark Jewelers insert edition in circulation. Um, this is before she became Lady Death Strike, before she was cybernetically in enhanced body, clawed hands made of adamantium. And she's also Wolverine's probably most deadliest adversary. I mean, Look, it's no secret right now, guys. Uh, we all know that Wolverine and X-Men keys are blowing up. On the census, there's 94 uh, nine eights on the census, a 30-day average of about $200. So, you know, with those X-Men and Wolverine keys becoming, you know, out of reach, 
what's the next thing to look for for maximum ROI exposure long term, I think is adversaries. And for our number one book, we have Contest of Champions, the Raza variant. So this was love at first sight. Um, I first saw this book at the beginning of this year, and um, it, it just immediately struck me. Uh, I, I love Raza as an artist. Uh, he's the cover artist. And I just love how he captured the personality of each character in a, in a dynamic and, and realistic style that few other covers convey. You know, a lot of covers just have the characters sort of standing there. But, you know, look at the way uh, Monica Rambeau's, you know, manipula manipulating electricity and the way the light is bouncing and the shadows are, are cast um, for artistic effect. Um, America's taking a selfie, and, and Blue Marvel's just pondering uh, like the genius he is, right? Um, so, I, you know, hey, it, it checks the Monica Rambeau box, it checks the America box, it checks the Blue Marvel box, and uh, if you don't like any of those three, you have Black Panther and Captain Marvel in there, too. Uh, you have the Ultimates. Um, so this is purely a cover buy. Uh, there's there's not much you know in the guts, although the the ultimates are featured um, in the guts. Uh, as far as the numbers, uh, there were only seventeen uh, thousand units shipped according to Comicron. This was an open order variant, but it appears to be scarce. I think many retailers went with the regular cover. Uh, Rawls are still less than sixty dollars, and only three nine point eights are in the census. So. Uh, digging your bins out there. It might be out there as an open order variant. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, make sure to check out our other content by liking and subscribing to our channel. Uh, Comic Book Women premieres tonight, and you can catch our roundtable discussion on Thursday.